you have to kind of stabilize your position and you shouldn't make too many moves with, with the same pieces generally. I mean, that's the rule. I think... Uh, I've never heard that rule. I know, I know. That's why, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a great player and you're not. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Magnus, you could, you seem to have some hiccups earlier today. You didn't have really smooth performances. And this game wasn't that smooth either. It looked a little bit unclear. What was your feeling overall as the, the game was transpiring? Okay, I mean, what do you want me to do? So, I mean, I, I, take, I take the piece and then... I mean, of course, he, he hasn't done anything particularly wrong. Of course, he's not going to be lost. I mean, what do you, what do you want from me? I don't, I don't want anything. I just want to see just just getting played. Yeah, but I, I mean, you're talking about, I mean, that the game wasn't smooth, and I, I'm again, what do you, what do you want me to do? I mean, yeah, sure. Oh. Well. I mean, do you want me to to get a huge advantage from from the opening and then to push it all the way? Is that the only way you can win a smooth game? Is that your point? Oh, not at all, Magnus. But certainly the game was tricky enough. Let me get your thoughts on. How you yeah, but done I, so I just, far. I'm just feeling that the, the whole, you know, the whole, the way you're approaching it is trying to belittle the whole thing. That's my only issue. My apologies, Magnus. We definitely have respect for you as a world champion, so don't take it any offense to what we're trying to say. We're just trying to do commentary. You've got this out of the way now. It's time for blitz. Your thoughts on your rest of the tournament? I mean, it, it's it's looking it's looking okay. Grishuk is doing extremely well, so he's. Um, uh, and um, he's, he's doing well, but um, I'm hopeful, hopeful that I can continue to, um, to, um, to, yeah, to win not so smooth games. <laughs> Magnus, thanks so much for your thoughts yeah. and good luck in the rest of the games. Guys, back to you. You've now won seven tournaments in a row this year, one also from last year you picked up in the World Blitz Championship. The train just seems to be rolling along, uh, uh, if I dare say smoothly along the train. Yeah. Um Miyashi is in big trouble. For more on the match, I've got with me Grandmaster Maurice Ashley. Maurice, what's going on? This potentially could be match over. Yeah, this is match over. If you're willing to bet your house, and you can start betting now. This is incredible. The fact that Nepo blundered upon the way he did, we're all in shock. Uh, this is like Haley's Comet coming through. Nepo just blundering upon. This is a world championship match. How do you make such a bad move? I cannot believe what we're seeing, and I imagine inside of him he feels ashamed, he feels disgusted, and he also knows he's about to give Magnus two points that you can't overcome that in this match. Especially against a guy like Magnus, and we see him on the board right now, Maurice, looking completely focused. What do you think? Do you think that Magnus is just going to be able to convert this, or will Jan be able to mess this up somehow? This is a Christmas gift come early or maybe a birthday gift come late. <laughs> However you want to look at it, Magnus is like, I'm going to bash your head open right now. This is over. This Magnus is a shark. He smells blood, and he knows all he has to do is just take a giant bite. He'll just be patient, naturally. He's going to be focused, but it's Magnus. He knows this is match. Just the clock situation is something that he needs to keep in mind. What do you think? Do you think that is something that Jan can try and play on? Jan is a drowning man clutching at straws. You tell him the clock, he'll say, yeah, yeah, the clock. Uh, you tell him maybe Magnus will get nervous. He say, please tell me Magnus will get nervous. He knows it's over, but he's gonna try to put up as much resistance as he can and hold Magnus slips up. But his destiny is no longer in his own hands. It's in the world champion's uh, grasp to take this match right now, go plus two with just six games to go. Come on, that just sounds like a complete disaster. And the only person to blame as far as Jan's concerned, is himself. B5, a big blunder, definitely something you don't expect at this stage. Now, uh, speaking of his stage, one of the one, one thing that you take care of for the press conference is, now, Maurice, when it's, when it's a draw and it's been an easy game, I'm sure the atmosphere is easier to handle, the players are easier to handle. But what happens in a moment like this? You were there in game six, and this could potentially be a decisive one as well. How's that taking care of uh, one of the players who's had a tough day? Well. You tell me, because this is my first time doing this. The thing was, after that very heavy fight in Game 6, Jan could take some solace and say, you know what, it was a tough struggle, and I made a mistake, I tried hard, all that. This one, 
I can't imagine how he's going to feel. He doesn't want to hear any questions from me, from the press, from anybody. So we'll see if he even shows up. Yeah, I think there's a $5,000 fine if they don't show up. Jan might be thinking, this is the time I'm going to take that fine because you don't want to face anybody after you made such a move. Like I said, he's probably going to say he's ashamed feeling that right now. So we'll see even if he shows up. And if he does, I'll be delicate because I know he could explode. Absolutely. We remember Magnus being on the other side of that in his match against Sergei Karyakin and the drama that happened in that press conference. Yes, indeed. Uh, oh, I'm sure not one of Magnus's favorite moments. But again, you play a move like this in a world championship. You dream about this all your life. I want to become the champion of the world. And if anything, at least give a great match. That's what you want. And then you play a move like B5 and just donate a pawn to a basic fork. Like, what am I doing? This is not something I think he can recover from. I think he will say anything at the press conference, but he knows it's match over.